Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop. Just make some room here. Right, what's this I've got? This is the low HF150 receiver. Okay, you can run it from 12 volt supply or batteries. I've put uh, rechargeable batteries in, so there we are. If I, let's just, um, it will need an aerial, of course. Um, let's put that in there for a minute. We are. What's that? 13.57 megs. You can program all the your channels in, all your frequencies. Some memory. That's something on medium wave. Um, it's on the back here. I'll show you a close up of the front in a minute. On the back, you've got a SO239 socket. Uh, a keypad. I don't have the keypad. Bear in mind this was made in the 1990s. Uh, it's in immaculate condition I must say. I don't have the keypad. Uh, that's, that's not here or there. There's a, an attenuator switch um, which is for the whip aerial which you can put in there. Normal or attenuate. The attenuator is 20 dB. Normal is just straight and then the whip is actually a, a preamp. There's aerial and earth connections there as well. Record out. That's useful because I use that for RITI, R-T-T-Y. Extension speaker, which you'll see in the video in a minute. And the DC 12 volts in. In there, Look, there are 10 to 15 volts in there. Um, it's extremely well made. Yeah, I used to hear about these back in the, in the 90s. I used to hear about these and people were saying they're fantastic. It is a communications receiver. Sideband, upper and lower sideband, got everything you would want in a communications receiver for that small size. I use it with my mini whip aerial. Um, you know, I've got a mini whip. I think I've shown you that in other videos. Uh, and it's extremely good, right the way down to 30 kilohertz. Uh, listen to the uh, beacons, non-directional beacons uh, between long and medium wave. Uh, long wave, it's brilliant. Down your know, VLF down to 30 kilohertz, it's brilliant, especially on the mini whip. Um, really nice piece of kit. It's it's also got various methods, uh, various modes. Uh, you've got AM, of course. Then you've got. Um, let me just switch through them. I, I won't show you all this. It'll take too long. But uh, right, you've got AM. Okay. AN. ASD, I'll tell you what these are in a minute. ASF, ASL, that's upper and lower. Um, lower sideband and upper sideband. So you've got all these different uh, different modes. I'll tell you what they all do in a minute. It's quite interesting. It is, as I say, on SSB, it's fantastic. So easy to tune into an SSB station. It's, you know, it's got a proper product detector. Um, it's, it's a fantastic receiver. I'm so pleased. I got this from a friend of mine a little while ago. I bought it from him and uh, I think he's got another one. I just can't praise it enough, especially with the, the rechargeable batteries. It charges when you've got it switched off. If it's still connected to the 12 volt supply, it charges the batteries. Right, this is the HF150. Uh, not a particularly good camera angle. Let's see if I can get that better. There we are. That's one nine eight long wave. Now, I think people still The audio quality is particularly good. I've got it through a big old speaker. I'll show you that in a minute. What I like about this is the memory. If you press that, okay, then turn here. These are the memory. Now, now, for example, seven is fifteen forty eight kilohertz. So you just press that one, and we're on fifteen forty eight. Go back to the memory. If I go to see what we've got up here, uh, where was it? 53, I think, was one. There we are. That's is that Radio Romania? I think that's Romania. So you can just go to any memory you want, just press that, go down now. I've got them listed in a book, and when you stop, it will say the frequency. So Go up to that one, go up to 37, 38, 39, you can just go through see what's in the memory if I press that one. 
there's a lot of noise at the moment. So that's rather good. And the other thing you can do, let's go back to back up here. Right, if you want to tune, rather than a wave change or band switch, you can just tune here. But if you do this, let's t turn that down. If you do that, there we are, there's like a course tuning. So I could go here to, I don't know, let's say 13, 13, 5. Press that, 13 and a half megs. Probably Radio China. Very good audio quality. I'm really surprised at that, how good that audio quality is. I'll just show you the speaker quickly. There you are. A good old fashioned wooden speaker. A little bit of bass in there. I'm going to have to show you, I have to take this back to my radio room and connect it up and show you sideband working. But And the, the AM synchronous mode, synchronous AM. That's interesting. Um, Briefly, what it is, I mean, you can look this up on the internet, so I won't spend hours going through it. Briefly, with, like, on shortwave, you get what's called selective fading. Okay, so it's not the fading of the carrier and the two sidebands all together, fading out and coming back up. It can be selective. So you might get this sideband fading and coming back, the carrier itself in the middle fading, but the sidebands remaining, so it's selective. What this does, it's got a a phase lock loop and it produces its own carrier okay so it knows the carrier frequency that's coming in and it reproduces that and that is a solid carrier so it replaces the carrier all right so your carrier isn't fading up and down it's solid there's quite a lot to it you'll have to read up about that you've also got apart from upper and lower sideband for, for ssb transmission you've got you can use the synchronous for upper and lower sideband uh, to get rid of one. If you've got a lot of interference coming from a station uh, LF of where you are, you can cut that sideband off. It's, I'll show you how in operation. I think that's the best way to do it. And as I say, you can read up all about it. I've got that extension speaker. This one is perfectly good. It's just that I do like listening to a lot of the broadcast stations on HF. And uh, some of them do put out <laughs> quite a bit of bass. It's quite amazing listening to uh, the voice of america the other day and they were playing some uh, what was it some some guitar music i forget what it was dire straits i think it was absolutely amazing for shortwave you know shortwave am quite good quality I, i'm astounded these are very much sought after these days uh, they really are i think they fetch quite a bit of cash uh, headphone socket on the front of course um, the batteries uh, I won't open. There are two little drawers at the back. So you've got eight altogether, eight uh, AA. Are they, you know, the, the larger, used to be called pen light batteries. When this was made in the 90s, they were called pen light batteries. Goodness knows what they're called now. I think they're AA, not AAA, and there's eight of them. <laughs> so quite expensive if you want the rechargeable type. I got uh, decent ones, Duracell. What was it? 15 quid for eight batteries. There we are. Get what you pay for. So that's it. Right, um, let's, uh, I'll now move on to connecting it all back up in the radio room and I'll show you some sideband. Okay, now back in the radio room. This is the, the keypad socket, which I don't have, SO239. Okay, here is uh, normal in the middle for the aerial, 20 dB attenuation one way, preamp the other, aerial and earth connections. Uh, then here, record out. So that's just low level audio out. Extension speaker, DC power, 10 to 15 volts. Uh, these are the two drawers, okay, for the, the batteries, four in each one. So that's the back of the receiver. Right, I've just tuned into some sideband. This is... Um, quite a lot of interference at the moment. Normally quite strong, that's RAF format. 
I have to show you how easy it is to tune in. So you can see how easy that is to tune in. If I now find a broadcast station, right, well that's, I'm not sure what that is, it doesn't matter. Let me just show you the different modes here now. So that's, that's ordinary AM, okay? That's just AM. So ordinary AM signal. If I go to the synchronous AM, I'll show you what it does. That's synchronous AM, right? You've got a carrier, can you hear it? So you tune like that. So the receiver is now producing its own carrier. So if there's any fading of the carrier, this replaces the carrier. It's pretty good stuff. It's very clever stuff. So it is lovely to hear that our channel also acts as a loving tool for beauticians. We wish you and your lucky family peace and tranquility. Okay, so if we now go to... Right, this is... Lower. So you... You still tune for the zero. Pray for world vegan. Please join Supreme Master Chin High to sincerely meditate and or pray for world vegan. That's with the lower side band gone, cut off. Okay, you because you might have that side interference. You go this side. Um, where are we? Let's go. Upper. Okay. Upper there. As I say, you could look all this up in the book, but it's all quite amazing stuff. And then you've got ordinary at SB, lower. Right, and USB. Or you can just go back to AM. Thank you for spending time with us on Noteworthy News. May the problems grace you with love and faith. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, so that's it. everywhere in the world for all your contributions. It handles strong signals really well. Um, as you saw, it resolves SSB really well. Um, the synchronous modes take a little bit of getting used to, but they are very useful. To do a proper demo on those, you really need, I need to do it at night when there is really is the fading coming in and out, the selective fading. I've tried it on my loop aerial, my homemade loop aerial here, um, off a medium wave. And again, it's fantastic, you know, it, uh, it's just absolutely brilliant on this aerial. Um, praising my aerial now, of course. Well, so I should, there we are. Actually, the wooden frame was made for me by Alan. Alan, thank you if you're watching. And I just did the wiring. I go to experiment with a, a ferrite rod aerial. That way I better go out with the, the battery supply and uh, do a bit of DFing on some of these uh, non-directional beacons. <laughs> oh dear, that would be nerdish, but good fun, great fun. So that's it, that's the low HF150 communications receiver. Bit of a haphazard video, I know, sorry about that. I normally <laughs> try to make my videos a little bit more professional, but um, it's showing you out here on camera and then showing you in the radio room actually in use which I wanted to do where the lighting is no good I have to use the little portable camera so all a bit haphazard but there we are hope you enjoyed it anyway and uh, if you do get, manage to get one of these then you're very lucky but I think you won't regret it no matter what you pay for it I think you won't regret it at all to be honest there goes the aeroplane from Shoreham Airport uh, I've compared it with my Kenwood uh, 
transceiver, my amateur radio transceiver, the TS570D, my old CR100, the Marconi CR100, compared it with that, and it really does hold its own. It really does, and I keep saying it's fantastic. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell it because it's not for sale, but it really does hold its own. It, it's a fantastic receiver. I wish I'd have one back in the 90s. You know, I had various receivers and uh, I wish I'd have one of these back then. But there we are, I've got one now. Anyway, I won't waffle on anymore, you'll all be dozing off. Thanks for watching as always, I shall see you again next time. Bye bye for now.